always look on the bright side of life. Come on! Always look on the bright side of life. Well, here we have a very poorly ash locker that's come in. Um, we're going to have to do something with this. Customer said, um, it's broken the crown wheel. Um, and Lee also said that uh, it was losing air. Now, losing air in an ash locker is very unusual. Um, so I've jury rigged it so we can see what's going on. And I, I sort of found out there's a little bit of a problem with it. Because when I open the air vent, you'll see this lot move. Uh, and yes, it does leak. But what's actually happened is the main end flange... Oh, I'll switch that off and doing my head in. The main end flange bolts have most likely, I think they've sheared in the actual main casing. Um, so it's going to need, I reckon it'll need a minimum of main casing. But if I go around here, uh, there's actually a bolt missing. Now that must have sheared off. And I think you'll find the studs in here. These studs are next to impossible to get out. So we need to take the bearing off and have a look. But um, why is it broken? Probably because it's got 37s driving it. Um, keep telling people that 37s really are over the limit for a Land Rover axle. Uh, it's broken a heavy duty Ashcroft crown wheel and pinion and broken an ash locker. So, autopsy time. Now on the ash locker, the bearing that you saw here earlier actually holds the air end flange on. So we're just going to jiggle, jiggle that off and take the air coupling ring off. And now we can actually see what's going on. And yes, it has actually sheared the main bolts. Um, and some of these are obviously loose. And broken off yet yeah, that one's uh, that one's completely had it so uh, it's going to need a main body um, let's see what else it's got to show itself for and uh, it doesn't look good um, we've got large amounts of swarf and broken bits there and there's a broken tooth or something in there um, but this lot here yep yeah, that's uh, that's definitely nasty uh, if you look at the teeth, they're quite heavily pitted where something's been smashing around in there. Plus, there's a lot of water for some reason. Uh, not looking very promising at all. And over there, that has actually been loose and been smashing around on something. Um, all in all, this is a very unhappy locker. Mm, back with the ash locker. Uh, these gears are very pitted from being shooed. The bolts are actually sheared off and lock solid in there where they've stretched. Um, basically, this lock has had it. It needs a new gear set. That's 150 quid. It needs a new main tube. That's another 100 quid. So there's 250 quid plus the VAT, probably 300 quid. You've got, um, yeah, it needs a new cage because they've actually spun the... Uh, uh, threads in it so it's getting to the point where you think this has had a very hard life probably time for a new locker sir it's a real shame because when this has gone bang it's not only broken the crown wheel and broken the ash locker but it's also broken a peg casing however if you run 37s you can expect to get the big bills you can see where the bolts have been chaffing there and underneath there is actually one of the bolt heads and I would guess that that's probably what's broken the crown wheel. That's jumped out um, and got in between the crown wheel and pinion and smashed that up. Um, and there's another one that I found in there that's been bashing about. Hence why it's uh, got so much swarfage. Now all I've got to do is ring the customer and make him a happy chappy. Oops. For life is quite absurd and death's a final word. You must always face the curtain.